Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. A little while ago I built my personal gaming PC. It features the 9900KS and yeah, there is a video if you want to check that out in the top right hand corner right now. But as the channel grows, we're actually running out of space. And even though the mesh if IC is quite a small case, I decided today I wanted to go a little bit smaller. Not a whole lot smaller, but considerably smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to salvage some of the parts from this. So I'm not going to use the same CPU. It will be Intel. It won't be 10th gen. I'm going to use the GPU, all the drives. So I don't have to reinstall everything. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this apart, right? We're going to pull this, this beauty apart. It's completely overkill for gaming. Let's be honest. Well, for what I, the way I use it anyway, we're going to pull this apart and we're going to downgrade in size to this. Now this is a case that you guys have asked us to check out since Computex last year. It's the Metallic Gear Neo Mini B2. And as you can see, just uh, show them the size comparison, Claire. It is considerably smaller. It may be a little bit longer, but it is shorter. And that's the main idea, is I wanted it to be shorter, narrower, and ITX. I love ITX. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this 9900K and uh, this mini ITX board, the Aorus one that we've got laying around. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go part shopping. I don't know if Claire can get this shot, probably not. But you see that Aorus liquid cooler 280? That one all the way up there, I'm it doesn't sure. matter. That, we're gonna put a 280 mil cooler in it. And that's one of the other reasons why I wanted to use this case because you can put a 280 mil cooler in it. I want less fans, less noise, and all of that stuff. So let's see if we can make it all fit. And if it doesn't fit, it's a good experiment. So yeah, roll that intro. All right, ladies and gents, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I love doing these kind of videos where we kind of just hang out together and we pull apart a PC and then we, we, we take all the parts out and then we engage cinematic mode and then everybody's happy at the end of the whole thing. So what we need to do is first salvage the parts that we're actually going to be using out of this, which isn't going to be a whole lot. I'm not going to be using the power supply that's in here because it's a uh, 1200 watt power supply. It's literally complete flex. Like it's completely unnecessary. I didn't need to put a 1200 watt power supply in here, but you know, it's my one of my personal rigs. Of course I'm going to do that. I think I might use these power cables. I don't know. I haven't decided. They're nice black sleeved ones. Maybe not. I don't know. But let's first start off with the thing that is most important for our gaming PC, the GPU, which is the, the 2070 Super. And, oh, sorry, my bad, it's the 2080 Super, not the 2070 Super. I've been using this GPU since it came out, and it is really good. I, I like it. The 2080 Super is probably, um, it's grown on me. At first, when we did our initial uh, review of the 2080 Super, which you can check out up there somewhere, you'll see that my opinion was different. But after actually using this GPU for, I don't know, coming up to a year, I think they've been out actually pretty good value for what they are. Especially um, because, I mean, it's a 2080 Super. All right, next up we're gonna pull out the two drives. Now I've got a one terabyte uh, Seagate 510 Fire Cuda. This has got all of my games and stuff on it. So yeah, I don't really play that many games. So one terabyte is more than enough. And even if I do want to install a couple games, I usually play like weird indie games and they're usually pretty small anyway, or like an RPG or just something random like that. And the other drive we're going to pull out is my Windows drive, which is a 512 gig team group uh, MP34. And that's just got Windows and probably one game on it. So yeah, not anything super exciting. Obviously I can't use the NZXT cooler. Now this is the Z72. This has actually changed since we did the original build video. I think I originally used the Deep Cool Castle 360EX, but I had to move that to my workstation because uh, it has a bigger cold plate than this for my Threadripper CPU. So I'd use that. Uh, the RAM I have in here is 32 gigs of Thermaltake uh, water RAM without the water block. I just like how it looks. Really clean and understated, no RGB. It's really nice. I haven't decided at this point of filming if I'm going to use this in the new system or not. Uh, black cables, still not sure. Probably, I don't know. I don't know if I should do that. 
but the main parts, the most important parts, are the drives and the GPU. That's what we really need out of this. Everything else is is um, going to be used for other projects. So this ASRock board, I'll be using this for something else, but mainly it's all about downsizing everything at the moment because everything's just too big. Like even this is too much. This is too tall for a gaming PC in my office. All right, well now with all of those main parts that we need, those only three components that we're salvaging from this, out of this system, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to engage cinematic mode. Let's go. Again for the second time this week. Peelcorp? Yes, we are visiting our friends over at Peelcorp. <laughs> I love you South African guys out there. I love that you guys finally got the joke. <laughs> Peelcorp. Yep, Peelcorp. <laughs> it's all in the head, remember. All in the head. Okay, we're gonna visit our friends over at Peel Corp and peel it. You guys ready? I'm gonna keep this short and sweet today because it's gonna be a longer than usual video. So let's uh do the, let's lip heal. Oh, this is sounding pretty nice. Oh. That's a very nice peel. 
Very, very nice. I'm feeling a bit hungry, a bit peckish today, Claire. But I'm probably just gonna have a, a cup of soup or something. Yeah. I'm so excited because usually guys, like when, when I build these PCs, they're like project PCs that will tear apart. But when I get to build my own computer, I get really excited and I'm really, really chuffed with how this all turned out. It, it, it looks really cool. The size is perfect. It doesn't run too hot. And overall, I think um, I'm gonna give myself a, a pat on the back because I think I did pretty well with it. I really, really like how this turned out. I'm very excited to game on it. I have done all the testing and all that stuff, but before that, let's talk about all the parts that went into it. The CPU is the Intel i9-9900K. Now, my previous gaming PC had the 9900KS. I want to use the KS for something else, so I obviously pulled it out so I could put a 9900K in, and we had a spare 9900K. Yes, I know. Someone's gonna say something about it. Yeah, we have spare CPUs. We're a YouTube channel that builds computers. Of course, we have spare CPUs. <laughs> uh, the motherboard is, <laughs> Claire's just like, why are you saying it like that? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, now the motherboard is the Z390i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi from memory. We've used this board before. Claire actually has this board in her editing workstation. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, she likes it. So what do you reckon? Is it a good board? Hell yeah. So yeah, that's why I decided to go with it. We also used it in our dual streaming PC build. It was the top PC, but I yeah, I wanted to use it for my gaming PC because yeah, it was the right CPU, well, motherboard to go with. Now RAM wise, I went with the Thermaltake water RAM like I had in the other machine, but it's only got 16 gigs of RAM because I've got two eight gig modules and obviously ITX boards don't have four RAM slots, so I couldn't fit it all in. The drives, uh, I'll put them in the PC part picker list, but we already spoke about those. They're out of the old PC. The cooler is the Aorus liquid cooler. It's the 280 version. Like I mentioned, like I was going to install and I tried to get Claire to film up there somewhere, but yeah, that's what we that went into it. And it actually cools the CPU a lot better than I thought it would. And 
yeah, I mean, what else did I go with? I went with a a core reactor XPG 750 watt power supply. Uh, I haven't used the power supply in about six months. So I was like, well, if I haven't used it in six months, then I should use it in a PC that I'm actually gonna use every day. Yeah, it's a 750 watt gold from memory. Gold, yeah, that's what the box says. And it's pretty decent, like it gets the job done. Now you probably noticed that uh, in the build you saw sleeved cables and then in the final product there's no sleeve cables. Well, there's a little bit of something behind that because I couldn't get them to fit. Or like, this is a standard ITX case. It doesn't have the best cable management, but when you're getting into these cases and doing these type of builds, you have to expect that. It's supposed to be small. You're not gonna be able to fit every single thing that you want into these systems. And although there is a lot of space inside the inner chamber, there isn't a lot of space for cable management. And I've, I kind of expected it, which is why when I was tearing the PC down and pulling the parts out that I wanted, I said, hey, you know what? I may or may not use this, and the reason is because I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit, and the verdict is, if you're gonna use this case, don't use sleeved cable extensions. However, if you have a power supply and it's sleeved all the way from the PSU, you should be good to go. Airflow actually quite surprised me with the 9900K. It kept itself in check. Now, it does actually have a, uh, although it appears to be closed, it's a pretty open front, it's got intakes all the way down the side and they're about, I'm gonna say they're about 24 millimeters just from eyeballing it wide. You've also got intake on the back here as well. It's got the uh, intake on the other side as well. You've got some nice front IO. It's got an RGB controller built in. If you use the Fantex 12 volt RGB strips, which I don't have. I didn't wanna to go too blingy with this system because all of my personal systems, I don't like going crazy RGB, it's just not my jam. I did wanna have like a little bit, which is why I only did RGB fans and pretty much every other place that I could do RGB, I didn't do RGB. So the rear fan that I went with was the Lee and Lee Bora Digital in silver. And the reason why I chose that fan was basically because it fits the color of the case and the build and the aesthetic. And I like aesthetic builds, yeah, but just not heaps of RGB. It's not really my jam. And to be honest, I'm getting too old for that. So I don't want all of that stuff. Anyway, I think I've talked enough about this PC and uh, yeah, we'll talk about the case and stuff a little bit as well before I forget. Uh, but I already, I think I said basically everything already, right, Claire? Like cable management, airflow is decent. I mean, we did thermal testing as well, so you're gonna you're gonna see in the graphs how this system all goes, both in games, well, our regular gaming benchmarks that we do on every GPU and every build video, so you can compare any PC to anything. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna do those graphs right now, so you can have a look at all the benchmarks and thermals and all that jazz. And then I don't know what else then. you guys enjoyed this build I'm really really chuffed with it I just love everything about it it looks cool it performs really well I mean it's a gaming PC for me so it's got to be like pretty decent right I don't like to go too overkill but it's just at the perfect level for me to be able to play Call of Duty at 1440p and that's like the probably the highest graphical fidelity game that I actually play I go back and play a lot of older RPG games like Neo Automata and those kind of games like I'm not super into like multiplayer games Games like that I like single player games and so yeah that's kind of perfect for my type of gaming what else have we been playing a lot lately a lot of skater XL I really really like skater XL I've been playing that for coming up to two years now as well so yeah I like I like games I like games but I like single player games the only one I'm playing mainly multiplayer is probably cotton this uh, performs basically exactly the same as my old gaming PC when in the uh, 
fractal design case. They're basically exactly the same. I just, uh, it's a bait and switch, let's be honest. I just built it because I could and I really wanted to go smaller and I'm very happy with the results. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the music you heard here. If you're wondering anything about the music, I make all the music. I should probably say that earlier in the video, hey. Like just somewhere I should add that in because people always ask even though I always talk about it. But yeah, I make all the music available on our Patreon. I'll put a PC part picker list down below in the description. I don't know how much this system costs. I'm gonna be honest. It's gonna be pretty expensive uh, given the type of parts that we use. But yeah, I like it. You should like it too. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, uh, click the join button to help support the channel or Go sub on Floatplan for early access to videos just like this video right here. Cool. Um, I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. Two build videos in one week. You guys are lucky. You guys are really, really lucky. I didn't want to upload yesterday because I had a lot on my plate. But today I was very excited to build uh, this. And yeah. I don't know. I can't play the drums. I'm just going to leave. I'm just gonna leave. No one wants to see this. No one wants to see the um, the secret message, Claire. You know, like like the secret message of what does Peel Corp even mean? No one's asked. No one asked what Peel Corp means. Yeah, I think uh, you can't even Google Translate it because it doesn't work. You know what though? I'm such a dickhead.